Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a Michelle Williams tutorial and this is her look from W Magazine when she was on the cover with Ryan Gosling. It's really beautiful but the main thing that I noticed was she's got really really platinum blonde hair and her brows are so dark and so defined which is actually like a really full brow is kind of in trend with makeup for the fall and so I really thought it was a cool look. She's got a really pretty lip too and it's all very um, natural uh, kind of skin and eyes but it's really pretty so I wanted to go ahead and do that for you I'm gonna use a new foundation today this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation and mine is, my shade is 3.5 so I'm just going to shake this up it says shake it which I didn't know um, so I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit and I'm gonna put this just right one pump is plenty you get a lot from one pump Put it on my fingers and then I just kind of dot it all over my face. That's a whole lot actually. I do remember it now being a lot one pump. So you might not actually need a whole pump. <laughs> I look crazy like this. Okay, so I'm just going to take my Real Techniques buffing brush, what's new, I love this brush, and just start working this into the skin. The coverage of this foundation is actually really, really beautiful. It's about a medium coverage, um, and it's actually a tad bit light. I got pretty tan at the beach, so I got this a shade, a half shade lighter than what I actually am because I know that with fall and winter coming up, I wanted to be able to wear it, and I just assumed, I just knew that I could mix it with something until that time, so it is just a tad bit light. But it's actually good for this um, look because Michelle Williams is a little bit lighter than I am right now. So like I mentioned, the brows are part of the focus of this look. So I'm just going to brush through mine just real quick here. And then I'm going to take my MAC 266 brush, looks like this. And I'm going to use my MAC eyeshadow and charcoal brown right here. Mine broke actually. I should probably get a new one because it keeps breaking more and more. Every time I've packed it or something it's broken more. So I should probably just go get a new one. So just going to fill these in and these are going to end up being very dark. That's the way I want them to look. That is how she has them in her photo shoot and they look amazing on her. Even with her blonde hair, I just think it's such a cool, unique look. For the rest of the eyes, I'm going to use my Lemonade Eyeshadow Primer. It's going to cancel out any discoloration in the lid. Alright, and now I'm going to take my same Neutrals palette from MAC and I'm going to use the eyeshadow we'll use bisque right here very neutral color just using a 217 with that and brushing that all over the lid her eyeshadow is super neutral she's actually not even wearing anything on the lid that's why I'm just using a cream color And I can't tell if she has anything in her crease, so I'm just going to do a little bit of definition. I'm going to take Quarry right here, which is a really beautiful kind of purpley slate color. And just really gently just run that through the socket. Just to give it a little bit of definition. But not too much. You want it to just look like a natural shadow. Now I'm going to do my black liner. She's wearing a really pretty winged black liner on the top line. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild eyeliner in black and just a regular crown brush. And I'm going to just start in the middle of my eyes, usually where I like to start. It's a very small wing. This is a great gel eyeliner. If you've never tried the Wet n Wild gel eyeliners, they are so good. 
I think there are only two colors. I think it's just the purple and the black. I have both though, and they're both amazing. So creamy. They last. All right, and right here, just flick it out just a little. Just slide it right like that. I hope you can see that well. It's not super dramatic, just a really small wing. It should just look right like that. And then take your gel liner, and I'm just going to use this right along my bottom lash line to just define it. So just push it up against the bottom lashes um, to right about halfway in. She has a pretty defined line there. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and add some mascara. Just put about two coats of this on. And I'm not going to add anything to my bottom lashes. She doesn't have any mascara on her lower lashes. Alright, so now we are going to put some concealer on. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, which I've been using for everything recently because I love it so much. Just going to put this right under my eyes. Alright, now for bronzer, I'm actually going to use a contour. I'm just going to use my MAC Blusher in Harmony, which is a very kind of light brown. And I'm going to use a 138, yep. And I'm just going to put this right in the hollows of my cheek, very lightly. She's not wearing too much of a contour, just a light one. And she's not bronzed anywhere else. And then for blush, I'm going to use MAC Fleur Power. She's wearing a really pretty peachy coral color. It's a little brighter than peaches, so I'm going to use Fleur Power, which I love. This is a very pretty blush. Alright, now for lips, which is the really fun part. She's wearing a really pretty bright orangey pink lip, orangey pinky red lip. And um, I'm going to take first this NYX uh, lipstick in... Eros, number 536, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques, uh, what is this, an accent brush, and I'm just going to put this all over. I'm not going to be super, super precise with it, because it is more of a stain rather than a lipstick, and we're going to put a gloss on top. So I don't want it to be super, super bright, just like I said, more of a stain kind of color. And if you get too much on, you can always blot it before you put your lip gloss on. Alright, and now for our lip gloss, I'm going to use Matte Cream Sheen Glass in Double Dare, which is more of like a pinky color, but it'll go really well with this look and kind of tie it all together. Kind of neutralizes a little bit of the orange tone and brings out more of the pink. So this is the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's actually really fun for kind of a fun night out. Um, really beautiful. This photographs really well so you can feel free to wear that when you're taking pictures. Um, it's not going to flash back or do anything funky. And the lips are really fun, really bright, but a different take on a red lip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you're having a fabulous day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.